So after leading Miami to their first finals appearance in 2020 back in the bubble for the first time since 2014 when LeBron James and the Big Three were wearing the Miami Heat uniform, there were expectations for Jimmy Butler to lead this Heat team to another deep playoff run in 2021. But let's just say it was a disappointing year as the Heat finished 6th in Eastern Conference and got swept in the first round by the defending champion Milwaukee Bucks. But in that series, Jimmy Butler, who had a great 2020 postseason, had a stinker in the first round versus the Bucks in 2021, averaging only 14.5 points per game on 29% shooting, 26% from three. And it was just a flat-out shocker that Butler and the whole Heat team played that bad considering how great they were in the bubble in 2020. But now, fast forward to this season, and Jimmy Butler has the Heat back on the map, as he has them as the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, and they're on their way to another Eastern Conference Finals appearance after being the Philadelphia 76ers in six games. But in this postseason, Jimmy Butler has been the best version of himself, putting up his best numbers yet, even better than the 2020 bubble, averaging 28 points per game, almost 8 boards, and 5 assists on 52.5% shooting, 36% from 3. And the biggest eye-opener is probably the 36% from 3, because he only shot 23% from 3 this season, hitting only 27 total 3-pointers for the entirety of the year. But he's already made more than half of that. He's made 16 threes in this postseason alone. And he's been doing it all. He's been doing it all. He's been playmaking for this team with Kyle Lowry being injured with a hamstring injury. He's doing the defensive stuff that he always does, being an all-NBA defensive kind of guy like he's been his whole career. And he's making big shot after big shot in the mid-range, finishing around the rim, hitting threes. He's doing it all right now. And he's doing similar things to what he did in the bubble, proving that he can do this at an elite level on the big stage. He's had two 40-plus point games during the playoffs. He's also third in plus-minus out of every player involved in the playoffs this season. And he's probably been the third best player in the playoffs so far behind Giannis and Luka, who are averaging 30 and putting up monster numbers. But he's been top three. He has been a top three player in this playoffs. The Heat are back in the mix for a potential title because of him. And I think it's safe to say that if the Miami Heat won this championship, it would be the first time that a team without, uh, you can say, a superstar would win the NBA Finals since probably dating back to the Detroit Pistons when they won back in 2004 and Chauncey Billups was the Finals MVP in that series. But I think it's time to recognize what Jimmy Butler is doing right now because he's been a top three player in these playoffs. And a lot of people are not speaking about it. National media, ESPN, Fox Sports, they're not talking about it. YouTubers, yeah, we're talking about it. But Jimmy Butler's not, you know, it's only because Jimmy Butler's not your average star, superstar headline player. And he's more of like an A- minus kind of guy rather than an A-plus tier player. But with the way he's been playing right now, he deserves his respect and then some because... He is like the perfect epitome of what a Miami Heat player would look like. Like if you had the picture of a star Miami Heat player, you would think of Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, those guys. Because Jimmy Butler does everything that when people say Heat culture, the Heat fans say it. He is like the guy, the mascot for Heat culture. The leadership on and off the floor. He missed a couple games in these playoffs. He was still active in those games, you know, helping the team out, helping guys out from the bench. And he's been doing this ever since he got to Miami back in 2019-2020 season. But now he's taking it to a new level. He's being that guy. He, you know, a lot of the time, he doesn't really take over games. And it's weird because he has the talent to do so. But he kind of like chills back and gets passive and lets Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo do their thing, get other guys involved, which is a good approach. But sometimes you need to take over and show why you're that guy, why you got paid the money you got paid. And he's doing it. He is doing it. He's playing like an MVP caliber player right now in these playoffs. And without him playing like this, the Miami Heat probably would be in some trouble right now. They probably would have been in, in a game seven against Philly right now if he hadn't been playing like this. Jimmy Butler's doing it though. He's doing it. He is the perfect leader for this Heat team. He's been doing this his whole career, rather whether that was in Minnesota, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, the only problem was they just couldn't handle him. 
you know, Joel Embiid and him got along, but Ben Simmons and him didn't get along, and that's why that failed. In Minnesota, Carl Anthony Towns and that team, they didn't really feel Minnes or Jimmy Butler's vibe. But Miami gets it. They get it. You know, you got Pat Riley and Derek Guy, similar kind of mindset. Eric Spolstra, a championship coach, he knows what it takes to win. And now we will get to see if Jimmy Butler can lead the Miami Heat to their first NBA title since 2013 when the Heat won back-to-back -back in 2012 and 2013 during that spin with the Big Three. So we'll see what happens. They're on their way to the Eastern Conference Finals. Got a matchup with either the Boston Celtics or the Milwaukee Bucks. I said the Celtics were going to win their series. I don't know, though. They're going to Game 6. They're down 3-2. You know, the Bucks got home court now. We'll see what happens in that, but... It should be fun. It should be a great Eastern Conference Finals. The Miami Heat are built for this. I said they were going to be this good back in the preseason, back when they signed P.J. Tucker and got Kyle Lowry. And now with Jimmy Butler playing at this elite level, a level that I didn't think he was going to play at, there is no telling what this Heat team can do in this postseason run. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter. Instagram link will be down in the description below. You can also check out previous videos in the description down below also. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.